When we signed up for this tour, we were told that we'd be staying at the best lodges available. Sometimes it was a tent. But always we had our reliable Pondamalia. Serengeti is part of the ecosystem that includes Lake Manyara, Arusha, Gorongoro Crater, all places we just visited, but also it includes the Maasai Mara region of Kenya. The word Serengeti is the corruption of a Maasai word, which means something like land that runs on forever, or infinity or something like that. Anyhow, the first American to find the place was sometime just after the turn of the century, well the last century that is, and his claim to fame was that he came back and told everybody he just shot 50 lions. So that made it a great attraction for those who wanted to go and kill wildlife. The result was that the Brits who were the administrators, the colonial administrators, made this area part of a game reserve to protect it. Later on, sometime in the 50s, they started to move the Maasai out of the area and make it into a real national park. These pictures were taken 50 years ago. It seems that no matter where we went, we saw wildlife which basically just ignored us. In 2015, one of the rangers told me that when he was a boy, there were at least 10 times as many lions around. The film that we took with us from America was mainly Kodachrome. Once we got to Africa, we found we couldn't always get Kodachrome, but could get Akfa Color and Anska Chrome and various other brands. Now, 50 years later, most of the color has been lost, and we have various shades of brown, or in some brands, various shades of blue. Much of the film can be only used as black and white. The video, however, was all shot on Kodachrome and much of the colour can be restored. Usually mama babysits, 
Sometimes Papa babysits. We find that Grandpa is brought in to babysit. And sometimes when Grandpa's babysitting, he gets kind of bored, walks over, pokes his head into the van and says, anybody like to relieve me for a while? I never ceased to be amazed at the ability of Kitano and the guides to find animals. They'd spot them miles away, sometimes stop and they would look out of the rough and they'd say, hey, look at that cat. We wouldn't see a thing. The ranger spotted this cat. She's pretending to be asleep, he said. I bet if we were to drive away, she'd get up and start prowling around to see what's going on. So he decided to drive away and leave me to take some pictures just in case she woke up. Kitsua, they knew his bus. I have a feeling, he said, that they know that I'm here, and they know that there's no harm going to occur. They can just close their eyes and sleep away, and be safe. Sure enough, no sooner can I leave, then the cat woke up, walked around, took a look at what was going on, me wondering, hmm, what do I do now? Fortunately, he decided to just turn around and go back to sleep again. Cheetahs are diurnal. They come out in the daytime as well at night. The leopards, on the other hand, are just nocturnal. You find them sleeping in trees during the daytime. The uh, cheetah is about twice as fast as the leopard. It goes along about 75 miles per hour at top speed. The uh, leopard, on the other hand, just kind of loafs around at about 35 miles per hour, about as fast as we could go in our, bu in our bus. Mm -hmm. 